Look at this beautiful array of neutrals. Hi everyone, welcome to another design lesson video. In each video, I'm going to review some key design principles that you should keep in mind when you're thinking about renovating or decorating your space. So if you have a design dilemma and need some answers, feel free to comment in the section below with your questions. Your dilemma could become one of these design lesson videos right here. Or if you need individual help from me for a renovation you're working on, find me on Patreon. Head over to patreon.com slash for all the details. In the meantime, let's get to today's topic. Classic design is timeless. Timeless design stands the test of time and is such a great investment, especially when we're talking about kitchens and kitchen design. In this video, I discussed classic elements for a timeless kitchen, and one of them was a neutral palette. White kitchens are still very popular and have been for a while, but so many of you don't want a white kitchen and a neutral color palette sounds more appealing. You all said you wanted to know what my favorite neutral colors were for kitchen cabinets and that's what this video is all about. So here we go, white cabinets be gone. Here are my favorite neutral Benjamin Moore paint colors for kitchen cabinetry. Look at this beautiful array of neutrals. Let's pull these three out first. These three, I consider the grayish color in my neutrals palette. Okay, you're going to hear this word a lot, grayish. Grayish is the color of gray and beige together. I know there are a lot of people out there that cringe at the idea of beige, even though beige is making a comeback. But grayish is more gray than just beige. But the great thing about this mix of gray and beige is that sometimes you get a grayish color that can be both cool gray and warm gray. It just depends on the other colors around it. So other materials like your countertops, your backsplash tile, your wood flooring, and your lighting will change the look and warmth of your grayish. It's more complex and depending on the actual color that you're looking at, a grayish color can have very different undertones like red and pink or green and yellow. Those undertones can really make a huge difference in the end result. So it's important to really test out the paint colors before you commit to a huge decision like painting your kitchen cabinets. Anyway, grayish is complicated, but that's why I think grayish is a great option for your kitchen cabinetry because it's a little more intriguing, more than just beige and more than just gray. So our first grayish color in my beautiful array of neutrals is Benjamin Moore's Edgecomb Gray HC173. Edgecomb Gray is probably my go-to color when I think of grayish. And I love it on painted cabinetry, especially when I don't want the cabinets to read too gray. Edgecomb Gray has a lovely earthy softness and warmth. That softness in the color really warms up the stark white of a quartz countertop, but I love it best with white marbles with soft gray, yellow, and gold veining like Calcutta marble. It works beautifully with wood countertops as well. And I love it paired with natural stone like limestone or sandstone. It's also dark enough to stand out on a kitchen island with a white perimeter of cabinetry. It works well with either brass or chrome hardware. In fact, most grayish colors will work well with chrome, brass, or black hardware, so it's very versatile. The next color of grayish that I love, and it's actually just one color away from Edgecomb Gray, is Revere Pewter. You see, these two colors are so similar, but Edgecomb is earthier and warmer than Revere Pewter. Edgecomb is also just slightly brighter than Revere Pewter, which is important to note if your kitchen is a dark space. Let's now focus on Revere Pewter. Revere Pewter is slightly darker and the gray is more intense. Its undertone is more green, so if you don't like green, stay away from colors opposite on the color wheel, like orange, red, and purple. They will bring out or enhance those green and olive undertones. So watch out for your wall color, the color of your shades and your lights, or the color of your backsplash tile and countertop. Even wood floors, if they lean heavily on the orange or red side, that will bring out those green undertones. When I want a gray cabinet, then Revere Pewter tends to win out over Edgecomb Gray. Pair it with black counters, and that contrast really makes a warm, rich statement. I love the gold hardware here too, more warmth. 
or here with a dark, intense color for the island. The perimeter of the cabinets really stands up well with this large black island. It's a great balance of dark and light. It's a really dynamic color, so again, Test it out in different areas of the room so you can see it in different lighting conditions and always keep those other kitchen materials close by while you test. And the next grayish in my palette is Pale Oak OC20. I actually don't even know why I don't use this color more. It's the perfect pale grayish. If white oak could be a color, this would be it. Benjamin Moore describes it as a beautiful neutral that is graceful and elegant, conveying a sense of style and quiet restraint. And it's true, it's the lightest color of the three grayishes. Pro tip, the best way to see the actual color is to compare it with white. I've got Chantilly Lace here, which I feel is Benjamin Moore's most purest white paint. So now you can see what pale oak really looks like. If your kitchen has lots of windows and it's very open and bright, this pale oak is so subtle, it may just wash away because it's so pale, but not pale enough to make it a white kitchen. As an all over light colored kitchen, pale oak would be so lovely. Here in this old world type kitchen, it looks warm and sophisticated. Look at those beautifully veined marble countertops, adding in tones of gray and yellow. Or here in a slightly more modern kitchen with white counters and white marble. The beauty of pale oak transforms architectural moldings as well, like this paneled room with white marble and dark stained floors. So it's not just for kitchens. Pale oak is so neutral, it could be warm or cool depending on the light and the other finishes in the room. So definitely it's one of my favorites and hopefully one of yours now too. If you're liking this video, please hit that like button, share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more design videos. Okay, let's move on from the grayish portion of this discussion. Let's say you're still interested in a neutral palette, but you'd rather have a little bit more color. These next two neutrals might be for you. Benjamin Moore's Horizon Gray, number 2141-50. Yes, another gray, but this one has a hint of green, and with green comes tranquility. We all want tranquility in the kitchen, right? If you're looking for a beautiful country kitchen, Horizon Gray is a beautiful neutral gray green that will make your kitchen so inviting. I love it paired with butcher block and wood beams. Pair it with crisp white walls, white subway tile and white countertops and you have a lovely fresh looking kitchen. It's just enough color, but still such a beautiful neutral. And it's strong enough if you wanted to highlight your island with Horizon Gray among a sea of white cabinets. You wouldn't be disappointed. It's a breath of fresh air. And if you're loving a dark neutral color, look no further than Stone Harbor, number 2111-50. Not only is it the darkest color in my group of neutrals, but it's also the richest in color. Stone Harbor is warm and delicious. It's an earthy, deep mushroom color. This warm gray is so luxe in this satin finish. It's perfect for deeply paneled kitchen cabinets with warm cream marble counters and cream walls. Or here in this kitchen, another classic paneled cabinet that is now elevated with this rich color. You can add this color to a kitchen island as well. I love pairing it with wood and leather stools. And that butcher block looks so classic. Stone Harbor has some serious undertones of red and purple, which is what makes it warm and inviting. But if you add too much red and purple into the space, you may find this gray brown color will look more gray purple. To avoid that, pair it with creams and charcoals to bring out the neutral gray. And last, but definitely not least, if you're looking for the perfect gray, just gray, a beautiful gray, gray owl might be for you. Benjamin Moore's gray owl OC52 is the perfect pale gray. It almost always looks like a cool gray because it has yellow and green undertones. Because of this cool factor, it looks great in more transitional kitchens where you want a fresh new vibe, but still love the classic shaker cabinet style. 
It looks so sharp and crisp on these shaker cabinet doors, and I love how the gold hardware just adds that little bit of warm contrast. And here, with a little more of a traditional flair paired with Carrera marble countertops. Notice how even though the kitchen cabinets are completely gray, they still look elegant and soft. That's what Gray Owl is all about. It looks so beautiful with stainless steel appliances and hardware because it's so neutral. You can add in some touches of color like these teal stools and it will make the kitchen just sing. Gray Owl, teal, white, and stainless steel, a beautiful combo. So here's your takeaway. Edgecomb Gray, Revere Pewter, Pale Oak, Horizon Gray, Stone Harbor, and Gray Owl. Classic kitchens come in different styles and designs, but one classic element you should always consider is a neutral palette, especially a neutral color for your cabinets. Grayish can offer up so many mutable tones, celebrating gray and beige together. Neutral color can bring you towards gray and green for that perfect country kitchen, or a marvelous mushroom for a rich, delicious, more traditional kitchen. And if all else fails, the perfect gray will blend beautifully with all the other classic elements. Look for the Classic Kitchen Elements video in the description below with a whole host of other videos you might be interested in. I'll have links for all of them. Let me know in the comments below which of these neutral colors you're loving and any other colors you think should be on a neutral colors for kitchen cabinets list. I'd love to hear your favorites. Thanks for watching my latest design lesson video. If you like the video, please hit that like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. All of that helps to grow this channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and if you need individualized help from me, find me on Patreon. If you have any design questions, let me know in the comments below, and it could be the topic of our next video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Voila! <sighs> Got too many props in my hands. Benjamin Moore's Hor... <laughs> Look at this beautiful array of neutrals. <laughs>